So, do you guys remember a movie or a story um, of escaping from Danamora? Escape from Danamora. David Sweat. Richard Mant. You can look it up. It's easy to find. This is where they escaped from. And Mike will point out the exact manhole for us, won't you, Mike? <laughs> It's okay. We can go by it. And... It's the middle tower. Take a right. So. We're actually closing part of this prison, right? That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> we're here because they're actually closing it, and he's got to go and do talks and stuff. And... Not this part, though. This part's staying open. See your guys up there in the towers monitoring the situation. If you guys get a chance, go online and look inside this place. It is amazing. They have a chapel in there that Lucky Luciano had built even. If you remember the famous mobster. We'll go back up around in just a moment. But go and check out what the inside of the place looks like over the wall. Huge, huge. That little bit of that wall, <laughs> that's nothing. There you go. That's one. The one straight ahead? Right there. Or right here? Right there. Right there, that little dip in the road. Can you see that? Straight in the middle, right? Yep. That's the one they came up out of, guys. Yep. So, they escaped from that big old building up there. Came out that manhole. Sweat had dug away and chipped away forever in a year. It's, it's a really good movie. Really super good movie to watch and it's amazing. However, in the one movie, you know, they make you actually um, have some sort of feeling towards at least Sweat in the movie. Until you get to the end, which I really think was wrong. They actually make you feel sorry for them. But if you, you know, knew how they were throughout, you know, why they were in prison, you would not feel sorry for them. Uh, you know, driving over a police officer for the fun of it because he uh, pulled you over for lighting off fireworks. What was that? The part that they're closing, you'll like because of the structures. Yeah, I, I have a liking t for a lot of, like, architectural structure. It's right after this building, after this wall. Didn't you, weren't, didn't you work up in one of these before? Was it here? Not in this tower, no. Oh. Well. I've, I've worked in all the jails for the evening. But right after this is the Clinton Annex, which is their closing. And there's a lot of people not happy right about it. Oh my God, it is beautiful. This right here, yeah, and that's the annex too. They're closing this part right here. When I told you this place was huge, oh good God. That's just the part they're closing. The other part's bigger that's staying over. Jeepers creepers, good heavens. They even have their own look hockey look rink right here. Look at that, they got their own hockey rink. <laughs> Then we're gone. Well, a few hours later, we are in Plattsburgh, which is right connected pretty much to Canada, Lake Champlain territory. Night number two. At Cracker Barrel once again. Oh yeah, what's going on? Darn right, boy. Let me tell you. Cracker Barrels Southern Fried Chicken. There is nothing better. Even 
the kernel from KFC to not remotely touch Cracker Barrel Southern Fried Chicken. So not only did we get stellar chicken, but I picked up a few things in the Cracker Barrel store. I actually got this for Mike. We both like lanterns, but it's one of those night lights that actually flickers, you know. And I like glam and bling, and I was in need. Excuse me, moving the camera all over there, guys. I'm uh, in the motel room. I got myself a glam pig piggy bank. I needed a bigger piggy bank. Yes, I did. And I'm always thinking of, of course, you know, glam room and stuff like that. Because you can never have enough sparkle. This does not even begin to accent or show exactly how nice this box is and how heavy it is and how good quality it is. But that's how Cracker Barrel is, you know. I would have vlogged in there, but I was too busy shopping. I don't know how that goes, right, lady? And a matching little book. I could have gotten every book they had that was blingy there, but I didn't. But I thought about it. And the prices really aren't that bad, you know. This was like, what, $2.99, $3.99 for a little bit of paper. Well, the pig was only $14.99. That's a pretty good size bang. Um, and for my desk, the coolest paperweight. Mike laughed. He says, it matches your fingernails. I'm like, yeah, I guess. Maybe. Now, if you remember in the last video, I had <coughs> in one of those few videos, in the last few videos, <coughs> excuse me, I just can't stop coughing and everything else here. There, all the coughing done and everything else. <laughs> we had a uh, Cracker Barrel, obviously. We all had a little bit of indigestion going on there. and Yeah. So this is really cool. I'm going to have to take you into the bathroom where there's better lighting here. Um, this almost looks like the little necklace. You know how those are the in thing right now? The little necklaces and stuff like that. Look at this. I'm vlogging over a sink, guys. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Everything's all peacock. And, and that is like the peacock coloring. I just... Loved it. Rose gold. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it going on. For what? $14.99? Gotta love Cracker Barrel. And this matches the thing that's on the coffee table in my glam room. And it matches the lamp that sits on the desk. And that is going on the desk to house my pens. Usually I get these at Hobby Lobby. But, yeah. And the other goodies, the last two goodies I got are accidentally trip over the dog and send her flying. Sorry, Mala. I saw this awesome bag. And I'm like, oh, that's a must-have. Gotta have it. And it's good quality. It's not garbage okay it's not maybe designer label but it may as well be it's just as thick and as good as one and this comes with the inside bag of course so you know and of course the long strap for those of us that don't like these little short straps which i am never a fan of the short straps i like something that just hangs over my shoulder and last but least Oh, everything's chaos here. Little motel room, you know. A nice poncho. $21, that's it. Yeah. That is just so cool. Yeah. It comes down with the two shark tooth points on the side rather than the one that typically comes down the middle. And it wouldn't be a piece of clothing around me if it didn't have a piece of dog hair on it, right? 
So that was the lovely shopping experience that I had at Cracker Barrel. Tomorrow, we head out to Plattsburgh, and if they have another Cracker Barrel, I'm probably going to go and make a pit stop and stop in there because there were a couple other things that I saw that I really liked there, but we don't need my purse in there, my other one. And they had an absolutely beautiful candle there that matched this, and I really want it for the living room. They have the coolest house over here. Structurally, the architecture structure is absolutely amazing with all of the turrets and the roundness. I would love a house like that. Maybe not in the middle of the city, but <laughs> I think I would paint it more your two-door colors that were cream and dark brown, but that is amazing. I love those type of houses. So it is Wednesday, um, in the morning obviously, if you look at my hair, I look like a rag doll. <laughs> um, we are getting back on the road today and we are headed to Plattsburgh. We've got a lot of places to go on the way from there to get there. Um, it's morning, I can't even talk right guys. So today we're going to make the pit stop to the Wilder Homestead. And uh, then we're going to get into Plattsburgh. We're not going to leave until a little bit later on this afternoon. So we're probably not going to get to where we have to go to our destination until it's dark. So we will not be hitting Lake Champlain today. But we will get there maybe tomorrow or Friday before our ride back home. Which is going to be a long one. But I guess it could be worse. You love drive throughs don't you? Yes. You know the food's coming through that window at any moment. Almost there, Mama. We're the next in line. You know what that means. I know the food's coming in through that uh, window. Mild, please. I gotta check everything out that comes in. Thank you. Thank you, you too. And he Backing up to head home and who but who decides to get a warm seat outside. She's not going to give up. She's relentless. Unbelievable. <laughs> Talk about spoiled dog. <laughs> this is a huge monument. We are in Champlain. We are headed to Lake Champlain, but unfortunately... It is extremely foggy, so the chances of seeing any kind of water is like, <laughs> nil. So, this is the first time that Mike and myself have ever seen an electric vehicle plugged in. We thought that was pretty impressive. Got it clear so people can go. How cool is that? We're trying to get a good shot, video clip of this. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Well, I wish I had a comfortable ride like that. Absolutely beautiful mountains up here. So I am in Cracker Barrel right now. 
and the stuff in here is like the best. I mean, I went to Cracker Barrel store out in Watertown a few nights ago, but I had to stop back into another one here in a different part of New York. Absolutely love it. I don't want to be seen walking around with a camera right now. <laughs> Yay! We're home! Ooh, it feels good to be home. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. So, Cracker Barrel three times in five days in two different locations. So the ending result, we finally made it home. And just another goodie from Cracker Barrel. I have always wanted one of these kind of clocks. I think they're so cute. So until another video, I'll let you guys go and I'll catch you soon. Bye.